Jared Poland from Nosephoto.com, and this is your Here comes the sun. photo news Here comes the sun. fix. This fix is brought to you by Printique and their once in a year family and friends event where you will save 30% off orders of $75 or more. I guess it's time for me to order up some more Printique photo books, which I absolutely love and big ass metal prints because 30% off is huge. From now until November 13th, when you use the code once in a year 30 at bit.ly slash once fro 30, you will save bigly on everything from prints to hardcover books, metal prints, leather albums, glass prints, and everything else Printique has to offer. Just remember, the minimum order is 75 bucks. Now is the time to get printing and give the gift of photography. I'm gonna go do that right now. This week's fix is gonna be dominated by one thing and one thing only, new lenses. Yes, Apple released MacBook Pros, Sigma released specs for the forthcoming 70 to 202.8, but no price. And Sony is teasing a specific alpha event for next week. But this week, we bring you three new lenses, including one the likes that the world has never seen before. What are we talking about here? Now let's kick this off with the least impressive of the three lenses, but still a welcome addition to Canon's RFS lens lineup. Introducing the Canon 10 to 18 F4.5 to 6.3 IS STM lens. Up until this point, there's been no proper wide angle lens for Canon cropped sensor RF mount cameras. They used to offer an 11 to 22 EOS M lens for the M mount, but now you finally have that vlogging wide angle lens that's ideal for the R100, R50, R10, and R7. In 35 millimeter terms, it's a 16 to 29 millimeter range. This lens is not a chunker because it weighs in at only 5.3 ounces or 150 grams. And guess what? It's cheap, coming in at only 329 bucks. Shit, that's a good deal. Now, soon enough, every TikToker and wannabe makeup influencer will be throwing their camera in auto and using this wide angle lens to say, look at me, I'm so important. I'm a vlogger, I'm at a baseball game. You're not. Dead center field, as long as I don't distract the batter, we're good. I'm so, oh wait, 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 that, that was me. Next up, is it time for that lens that the world has never seen just yet? No. But I'm not sure the world has seen a lens like this one yet either. Introducing the Super Tele Zoom Canon RF 200 to 800 millimeter 6.3 to F9 ISUSM. Now that's a mouthful. <laughs> now this is not an L lens, but it's certainly a massive range that's bound to make wildlife and bird photographers all giggity giggity. Giggity goo. Now I haven't gotten my hands on one of these just yet, but despite its massive zoom range, Canon calls this a relatively light and potentially hand-holdable lens. Yeah, hand-holdable if your guns look like these, but if you look like, you know, this, not, not so much. The damn thing weighs in at four and a half pounds. That's, that's pretty heavy in my book. Now here's a few other things that weigh in at roughly four pounds, according to the website Measuringly. A brick, two liters of water, not sure if it's two liters of soda either, Duh. 40 hard boiled eggs, six soup cans, and seven empty 12 ounce glass bottles of Coca-Cola. Now I bet that helped, right? No. The 200 to 800 is external zooming, meaning it's going to get physically longer as you move through the zoom range, which is bound to change the balance. Now you've got a built-in non-removable lens collar, a 95 millimeter filter thread, five and a half stops of IS at 800 millimeters and seven and a half at 200 millimeters. And it is compatible for some reason with 1.4 and 2X teleconverters. Now in terms of where you go from 6.3 all the way to F9, Canon says you're at 6.3 three from 200 millimeters to about 299. From 300 to 400, you're at F71. 500 to 600, you're at F8. And beyond 600, you are at F9. So what's it gonna cost? $1,899, which when you think about it, isn't that bad for the reach that you're getting. Look, everything's a trade-off. Most people considering this lens would never consider or probably not able to drop $14,000 on a 600 F4 RF. Sure, you probably won't get the same look and 
feel, but the 200 to 800 is a fraction, and I mean a fraction of the price. The weekend warriors and birders are going to love capturing those blue-footed boobies, American woodcocks, and the good old American bush tit. Now, if I can get one of these lenses in time and I have room to fit it, I might take it to Africa at the end of the month where I'm going on a safari. Going on safari, mother so what do you think about this super telephoto Canon lens? Let me know down below. Safari. Don't forget about our podcast. Comes out every Friday, wherever you get your podcasts. Fronos Photo, Raw Talk. And finally, it's time for that lens that the world has never seen before. Drum roll, please, Dan. And that lens is... Phone call. I wonder who that could be. Hello? Ah, oh, it's Sam Kinison. Say it! Say it! Okay, don't, don't yell at me. Fine. Introducing the Canon RF 24 to 105 millimeter F 2.8 LIS USM Z lens. And no, the Z does not mean that it's also compatible with the Nikon Z mount. Now I think Canon threw everything, including the kitchen sink at this lens. Now, let's start with the weight. It weighs in at 2.9 pounds or 1,340 grams, which is slightly heavier than the 2.64 pounds of the 70 to 200 2.8 RF and one pound heavier than the RF 24 to 70 2.8 IS. Now in terms of length, it's 7.8 inches. And for those who aren't used to holding on to 7.8 inches, it's like holding a 70 to 200 2.8 EF IS3, which means it's pretty big, it, it's pretty long. There's 11 aperture blades, an 82 millimeter filter thread, eight stops of combined IS, is the first RF standard zoom with an IS switch. It even has an iris ring that's manually controlled and has a lock switch. On top of that, it's completely internal zooming and focusing, meaning 7.8 inches, no matter how much you touch it or rub it or turn it, is still 7.8 inches. Sorry, ladies, and sorry to some gentlemen as well. Like I said, this is an insane lens. But wait! Dishboard. Now, if you're like me, you might be saying to yourself, this looks more like a video lens than a still lens. Well, Canon wants you to know it's not a cinema EOS or cine servo lens. Right. Which brings us up to the letter Z. It's the letter of the day. This lens is compatible with two, count them, two power zoom adapters. These adapters attach directly to the side of the lens and use the camera's battery for power and give you smooth, variable power zooming. Not a video lens, my ass. Like I said, kitchen sink. We've never seen something like this. So what's it gonna cost? $3,000 for this lens, $999 for the USB PZA, and $1,299 for the 20 pin version PZA. Now, I'm not sure I'm personally ready to replace my 28 to 70 F2 for stills because I love the look of it, but I know Steven is going to love this lens when it comes to running and gunning for video because he's going to have a 24 to 105 F2.8. Is that, is, that is that the money truck? Just so happens this is the news this week. And there you have it, Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.